Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to another video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we're excited to learn that the Phoenix A320 has had its first major update following its release which really does look at addressing some of the frame rates and performance issues that the aircraft was giving some players. Now for people like me who are playing Microsoft Flight Simulator on a GTX 1660, it was really important to try and get every last little bit of optimization out of this aircraft as, uh, as much as possible. When the aircraft first released, I wasn't completely uh, disillusioned with it. In fact, I still thought it performed quite well. What we have to remember is the amount of things going on under the bonnet in terms of calculations for this aircraft, because it is really, really in depth. Everything that's happening, all of the systems being seen simulated in the background, the kinds of things that you probably don't even think about. So the fact that I was still roughly getting around 30 FPS or thereabouts uh, was absolutely fine for me. And for those of you who watch this channel regularly will know, I often cap my frame rates anyway at 30 FPS just to take the strain off my GPU. However, for those of you with better graphics cards and higher end systems, I can understand why perhaps you were left a little deflated with the performance of the Phoenix, particularly when you compare it to things like the PMDG 737 and the Fly-by-Wire A320neo. And in a comparison video I did recently looking at the Phoenix, the Fly-by-Wire and the PMDG 737 all side by side, checking out the performance, it was clear that the Phoenix did have some issues. The team told everyone that they were looking on better optimizations and hoping to drop an update which would address these issues and here we are. We're now on version 1.0.2.104 of the Phoenix. You can update this in the app as I will show you a little bit later on. So let's go and compare how much this update has done in terms of the Phoenix performance and see how it was prior to the update and how it is since the update. So here we are sat on the ground at Manchester. We have got clear skies, we have no weather injected in, and we have no AI traffic or VATSIM traffic. So this is just the Phoenix aircraft, also in a cold and dark state. You can see that the FPS is showing to be around a nice steady 38, and this is prior to the update. Let's take a look then at the same aircraft in the same location after the new Phoenix update had been released. So as you can see then, we've gained one, maybe two frames occasionally as it's just hovering now around 39 to 40. Not a massive update, but remember I am still only on a mid-spec PC. So I will take any improvement that I can get. The real test of course will not be here on the external shots, but more internally once we've powered the aircraft up. Let's head inside the flight deck and see how the aircraft used to perform prior to the update. So this is the original release build again, and you can see aircraft in a cold and dark state, and I'm actually quite happy still just getting 40 FPS sat here on the ground. So 40, 41, occasionally 42. Let's see then as we start to pan the camera around, that's where you get some serious degradation, but you kind of have to expect that. You can see that dropping down to uh, sometimes as low as 27. Let's check out then and see if the new update has affected anything here. Wow, well now look at this, suddenly we've jumped by 5, 6, maybe even 7 FPS and as I'm panning the camera around here you'll see it looks also a lot more stable, dropping nowhere near as many frames as well looking around the flight deck. So this has had a major impact on the, uh, the internal cockpit as we uh, fly the Phoenix. So one last thing to check then, we're going to go and have a look and see what the aircraft is like when it's powered on. So you may recall from a previous video that we noticed powering the Phoenix on really did cause a loss in uh, frame rates. And as we can see here, this is the original build and compared to what it was a few moments ago, the original build shows we dropped probably three, four frames per second. More of course, when we're panning around. Let's have a look at the updated version. And indeed, not just as I had hoped, but even better than I could have expected. Really, I'm seeing this as it powers up and we have got a FPS difference of at least 10 frames per second prior to the original release candidate being powered on and here following this updated version. So they really have gone to bat and optimized a lot of the background settings in this. One of the big things to note as well is that nothing has been compromised. They haven't dumbed down anything or scaled anything back. It's just pure to better optimization of the Phoenix overall that has allowed the developers to give us this uh, this performance boost. 
Updating the Phoenix then is very straightforward. You just need to launch your Phoenix Sim A320 app on the desktop, not whilst you're running Microsoft Flight Simulator. And in the top right hand corner, you'll see the update available. Simply click on that and it will download the new installation file. Once this is downloaded, you do not need to uninstall your old Phoenix. You can literally just install over the top. So no messing around. In the Phoenix app, there is also a full change log of everything that has been updated in this latest build. And one of the biggest things that we're all now going to be able to enjoy is the fact that the pushback tug actually does a full and proper push. Before, if you've been watching live streams or even flying the Phoenix yourself, you'll have noticed that halfway through the push in uh, in recent times, the pushback driver just decided to abandon your pushback halfway through, leaving you a little bit stranded in the middle of the taxiway. Now he will follow all of your instructions where whether you're using an external uh, app to do your push or whether you're using the EFB in the Phoenix itself. As updates go then, I think everybody is going to be thrilled with this latest update for the Phoenix A320 and I'm very curious to hear how you have gotten on with this latest update in terms of the performance optimization that has been done. Let me know in the comments down below how many FPS you've managed to gain following this update and if the simulator and aircraft itself has become a little bit more stable and flyable for you, particularly those of you who, like me, are not flying one of the top spec PCs. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give the video a like. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss future content and, of course, our live streams. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye for now.